Are you ready? I am. I got my Godzilla and we're about to go pink. Godzilla's about to turn pink. I know, I know you guys were expecting my late night with the devil review. It is coming, I promise. I can't see till Friday. It's not my fault. Blame distribution. Trust me, I would be rather seeing that. I wanted to be positive and thank God I just put out a positive video before this one because I have reviewed every Godzilla that's basically come out since I've been online doing this channel, which has been 10 years now. I have reviewed them all, believe it or not. I have a lot of videos on Godzilla. A lot of people are surprised when they find out I like Godzilla, but I don't have high hopes for this one. And I'm gonna tell you why. Not only is have I seen the trailer, I watched the trailer when it did come out. I know I don't normally do that, but I, I did, and it was not my jam. I'm not gonna yuck your yum, you know what I mean? But although this film has Rebecca Hall, who we all love, it also has Dan Stevens. And you know what? Nothing is wrong with Dan Stevens. I'm sure he's a very nice guy. I'm sure he's a great actor, but it just so happens that there's a couple of films that everyone else likes and I don't like, and they all happen to have Dan Stevens in it. Is he the common denominator? I hope not, because he's gonna be in the upcoming horror movie Cuckoo, which I am really looking forward to. <laughs> So I don't know if this is my last straw, but we'll see. Uh, Godzilla, let's go. In this film, we see the two ancient titans meeting Godzilla and Kong in a clash for an epic battle as humans unravel their intertwined origins and connection to the Skull Islands mysteries. Minus one. <laughs> Minus one. You have... <laughs> How can we watch another Godzilla film from this franchise? This is technically the fifth one in this Godzilla Kong franchise. How can we watch another one after Minus One? These poor guys, they got Dan Stevens. <laughs> and now they have to deal with the follow-up. They have to just be the next Godzilla film after that. This film delves into the idea of Hollow Earth and it has a lot of CGI. It's basically a CGI fest, so I know what I'm getting myself into. I'm still going to be optimistic. I'm gonna take you along and let you know whether it's exactly what we think it is, just a CGI fest, which you know what? Some people absolutely love, so we're not gonna yuck that. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. And I'm gonna tell you whether Godzilla looks better pink. If you don't know, I have a whole video on the transition of Godzilla throughout all time. If you do wanna check that out, it's a very information-packed video. I'm just letting you know, it's a lot. So. Let's go see if the new Godzilla measures up. Um, and I promise I will have Late Night with the Devil and I, it looks to be promising that I'm gonna do Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey because you guys are voting for it over on my Instagram. In fact, when this video goes up, it might be still live if you do wanna vote on this poll and I can bring you just some more great wholesome content this week. But anyway, let's get going. <laughs> just got back from watching Godzilla Kong, the new empire, but it really should be Kong Godzilla. <laughs> and maybe not even the new empire, maybe the, the dentistry. <laughs> I'm gonna start with some positives. It wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It wasn't great, <laughs> but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. The film has a very convoluted starting. It's kind of like you know how every single episode of The Simpsons starts in a certain way that has nothing to do with the central plot for that one episode? I don't know if you've ever realized that before, but if you watch it again, you'll realize that. This film had no real... I mean, it has a thread, but everything is so let's make up the story as we go. And it's all so random to just get these characters in the same spot. So, of course, there can be a big fight. And I do want to say this is not... Godzilla versus Kong. I don't know if I said that earlier, but it's not that. It's Godzilla and Kong working together. The film takes place on Earth when Rebecca Hall's character and her daughter uh, start getting distress signals from 
the hollow earth from the core, from the center of the earth where Kong is. And they decide to travel down there with some oddballs. Brian Tyree Henry, who was in the other Godzilla films, who has a conspiracy podcast. And Dan Stevens also comes, who is just there. Dan Stevens... I don't think you're a bad dude. We swapped out a Skarsgård from the last film for him in this one, and it was such a weird dynamic because his character could be completely removed. At the very start of the film, Kong has a toothache and they fly this veterinary. He's a vet who works within this, I guess, the, the Titans world, um, and he specializes in that, and they get him there uh, to check on his tooth. So that's why I say it started with dentistry, and it ends in Hollow Earth. And basically, he just comes along for the ride for no real reason. So I thought that was funny. They just really wanted to have a little bit of more comedic edge, like another additional character added to the gang. Um, and he brings the music. That's his thing. He always has music blasting and it's meant to be the feel-good moment in the action film where you get to hear the music. But given all of that, it is kind of a very, very paper-thin story that is threading it all together. Just making sure that you get to see the maximum amount of Titans in one film and a lot of chaos action. Let's talk about that. What I enjoyed about this film was the different titans, the idea of the law, but then also some of the new things that we haven't seen before and uh, seeing how they, you know, their powers, how they look, what their vibe is. I was all about that. Even things in Hollow Earth, seeing little creatures and critters, I love that. So that felt very fun, inventive. It was just interesting because they don't have to stick to any standard. There's no rhyme or rules to how they have to exist, so they can take on any form. So I quite enjoyed that. But a lot of the film is about <laughs> Kong and these other apes that he meets along the way. I do not like any of those because <laughs> I don't personally like the look of Kong. I don't like monkeys, chimps, apes, any of that. And I just felt like that storyline was really strange. But also there was a strange edge to the action in this film where it was comedic <laughs> like an ape would fall to the ground and it would just go Bleh. it was given Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner <laughs> so I felt like a lot of it was meant to be funny actual creatures that have a heart and soul being swung like a bowling ball and it's funny but it's so strange because you're meant to feel bad but they would give it that comedic timing so the whole thing was quite bizarre, but in a really easy and digestible way. <laughs> I'm making it sound a lot more unique than it was because it really wasn't. It's exactly what you think it is, except I felt like the story was really easy to digest. Rebecca Hall carried her portion really well, but at the end of the day, I feel like the whole film was just an excuse to get all of these characters together and really see, you know, some big screen action. And that we got... I don't think it looked that bad. I think that they look great for what they are. Obviously, this cannot be done. I mean, it can be done with practical effects, but not to the same degree. So I understand it. I had a really good cinema screening, a uh, huge cinema, um, really good surround sound. Uh, it was at the extreme screens at Hoyt's, if you go to them. I felt like that's the only way I could have watched it personally, because it is a film that is just all about the action and all about seeing it in the big screen. Overall, I think it was kind of a weak story, just put together so we could see some epic battles, but there is a fun surprise in the, in the story if you're into Godzilla and Godzilla lore. But unfortunately, I just don't think there was enough actual... Godzilla. I, f I just felt like the Godzilla was kind of lacking and I think I could probably tell that from the trailer but I didn't want it to be true. Uh, it wasn't an even playing field. It's more skewed on Hollow Earth and what's going on with Kong emotionally, <laughs> believe it or not, than anything that uh, Godzilla's just doing their own thing. Overall, would I recommend it to you guys? If you liked the other films in this series, sure. I don't think it's a weaker counterpart to the other ones. Do you need to watch the other ones to watch this film? No. You will be able to pick it up, very obviously re-explain what's going on, and it's so paper thin that it's not going to get confusing for you. Was Godzilla better pink? <laughs> that is the question. Yeah, I mean, there, <laughs> honestly, there's no real difference between the blue and the pink, but... 
I appreciated seeing something a little bit different. <laughs> Overall, not as bad as I thought. Probably bang on with what they had as the source material. Adam Wingard. It's so weird to see where he came from and where he is right now. I do think that this is getting a little exhausting at this point, but it definitely fulfilled the brief and you can't be mad at a film that is exactly what you expect it to be going in. Personally I'm going to give this film a 5 out of 10. Not my favourite but I didn't dislike it. It's just not my thing. I would have given it a 6 if it was <laughs> a little bit interesting but it just wasn't my thing at all but I still think it's quite fair for what it was. For originality I'm going to give it a, a 2. We've seen this a hundred times from Godzilla Films and we've already seen The Hollow Earth, so I just didn't think it brought anything new. And for Scare, I'm going to give it a two. I'm going to give it a two because there was a jump scare in it that got me. But other than that, I don't think it's scary. Maybe a little bit gory because you're seeing like creatures ripped apart. The mass death that happens along the way of these titans just like going all over the all over the cities, all over the world. You don't really see anything. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and seeing Godzilla with me. Unfortunately, Kong was there. And I'll be back very soon for another Come With Me. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see what happens when we return somewhere else. Maybe to the woods where Christopher Robin left Pooh and Piglet. You better subscribe, please. Don't make me go alone. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye, friends.